Luigi. <sighs> What's going on guys, I'm welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome back to somehow another video of Mars the Little Star Smash. I actually unlocked this interesting cool, didn't even know it exists, but I'll take it. So in case you can't tell, I'm super tired right now. The last few days, the weather has been kind of good. I'm pretty sure it was around 30 degrees Celsius yesterday, which is quite hot, right? It is quite hot, at least for in the Netherlands. It is quite a high temperature. And then today is probably around 26 uh, degrees uh, Celsius. I'm not even sure how much Fahrenheit that is, but it must be quite a lot as well. And then on top of that, I had so many tests this whole week. I had to study a lot. That's why there was no video yesterday as well. Also, this school is actually messing me up. I can't focus on these little arrows. You have to like, look, you have to do that. You can't make that. So I'm just exhausted right now. But there's one good thing though. It's finally vacation for me. I've got two weeks of vacation right now, which means daily uploads. I'm, I, I'm already doing daily uploads right now. But extra uploads maybe. Uh, no, probably not. But maybe extra live streams. For example, tomorrow I'll stream for 12 hours. So make sure you don't miss that. I'll start at the same time, hopefully. And then I'll stream until 6 a.m. my time. Which just, it will be the same time. You'll see it, you know. Make sure you click the little notification bell and you'll... Me yeah, you'll get the notification for sure. Saying it though, I don't even think it's for sure because YouTube has been changing a lot lately with the notifications. Some people just haven't really got my notification. Just like uh, the video that go that went up uh, Wednesday. It was kind of weird with that video because in the first few minutes, it got like only a few views. But then uh, two hours later, all of a sudden, it got like 60 views extra. Not sure how that worked, but and by all means, if you haven't seen that video yet, then go check it out. It's Mario Kart Wii. So now that I've done a little bit of rambling here to start this video, I actually want to talk about something with Mario Tennis Aces. The one character I really want because I made my list, uh, actually I want to say a few months ago, I made my top 5, I think it was top 5, might have been top 10, but I made my list of my favorite characters I would like to see in Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, I mean Mario Tennis Aces, I keep confusing those two, it's the same game basically, you can't judge me, but I made my little list on the characters I would really want, and I actually added Pauline to that list a few days ago, I was thinking about some stuff, and Pauline does fit, like it doesn't make sense not to put Pauline in at this point, you know, Odyssey made her popular again, because after Donkey Kong, like I, I think the only game she really got, in was the first Donkey Kong game. I honestly don't even think she's been in any other Donkey Kong game since the very first one. And I'm also pretty sure that was the first one. I honestly don't think she's been in any other game since the very first Donkey Kong. And if she's been in one of those, then I'm not sure which one. But And now with Odyssey release and pretty recently, it makes sense to put her in the game. Because you, usually with the Mario games, you probably have realized that if you have played any Mario game ever, that they usually just the roster always consists of like five clones. And that's just because the simple fact that there's not that much variety on the Mario franchise. You obviously got Peach, and then if you are the princesses, you got Mario, and then Luigi, you know, Waluigi. <laughs> I say the Waluigi. Waluigi was actually created by Gamelot as well, I think. You know, I think his first game was Mario Tennis. But there's always kind of a lack of variety because you got like five plumbers in there. You also got five plumbers and five princesses, so it's not that much. I don't know, it's not, not that much variety. You got toads and then special dishes of other toads. It's just the same. And putting all the Koopa links in separately doesn't really help as well with making the game more variety. Or giving the game more variety. I can't even speak English. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Now that Paulina kind of made a comeback with Odyssey, it made sense, or it makes sense, to actually put her in Mario Tennis and in Smash Bros. as well, come in. At the end of this year, I've also heard some people talking about a potential Cappy coming to the game, and I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I'm not even sure how a Cap could play tennis, but then again, you do got a boot that plays tennis as well, so. You know, Nintendo could probably make that work somehow. Me personally, I would just love seeing different characters return because it's always fun to get more variety in the game. Definitely, if you only play Mario games and you always got the same characters, so you don't want to like make the roster too big because then you will just like people don't know what to choose anymore. But you do gotta like get, get, get some variety in there. Don't give clones, right? I'll try to don't have any clones. Then cl wait, no. I think I tried to have clones and no clones at all. Okay, another example is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because that game has a lot of clones. I think like. I'm actually really sure that like half the roster of Market Deluxe is clones and that's just because the Koopa Links and people usually like blame Pink or Peach but you gotta realize that all the Koopa Links are in the game and the Koopa Links could have been handled the same as the Yoshi in the game right give him like one character slot and then you can like pick between the Koopa Links that would have worked way better in my opinion they, yeah, they, they could have had some more space for other characters. Then again, what other characters do you want to fit in the game, right? Because again, you can, you can put in like different kind of Koopas, because that would be clones as well. So it's not like you're making any progress by putting in more Koopas or a Goomba. Well, Goomba would work, but who, who wants to play as a Goomba in a Mario game? I, I actually want to play as Goomba in a Mario game. Also, I do want to mention that I actually love this course. Like, I always say that this game doesn't have a lot, con a lot of content. Which is true, but just the fact that I made this course, it's new I think as well. I don't think I've seen this course in any other Mario Tennis game before, so it's good that they added some new stuff I guess. Again, I don't feel like Game Loss' intention with this game was to like rush it, or like to put less content in it and like 
sell it for 50 euros. I think Nintendo just pushed them to get like a, a release, uh, because I'm pretty sure this game released around summer, and they didn't really have any Mario game releasing that summer, so I'm pretty sure Nintendo pushed them to release this game as soon as possible, and they were probably still working on like, adding more stuff to the game, which probably bad development from their side, or maybe something went wrong, they had to scrap all of stuff, I'm not sure what happened, but again, I'm glad they are actually working on Aces now, and it seems to be ready, it seems to, like, it seems like now as though Nintendo is just waiting until E3 is over so they can release uh, Martin's Aces. I feel like the game is already finished, already made, already done, they're just waiting to, until E3 is done, right? You get some more information, you have the game up a little bit more and then you just release it. Like, I think that's the only real reason why they're waiting. There's no real reason why it didn't release like last month. But then again, I'll take it, you know, I do gotta say as well right now is a very still point of gaming. Because there aren't that many Nintendo games releasing, at least Mario games. The last Mario game we got was uh, Odyssey, that wasn't even this year. At least I'm pretty sure it was the last Mario game, and I'm not talking about like Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, which is coming like next month as well. But I don't really count it as Mario game, I count it as Donkey Kong game, I guess it's the same, right? It's the Mario, it's the Mario franchise, so I, I, I guess in some way I could call it, he won! No way, little bastard, that's why I don't wanna unlock Bowser Jr. He just screws you over. King Boo, let's go. Also, you might be wondering why most of the time I always pick King Boo as my opponent. And that's just because he kinda sucks. Like, I don't have to like, focus as much on the gameplay when King Boo, look at that, he can't even get that ball. So, that's the only reason. And I honestly forgot where I was just talking about a few seconds ago, so I hope it's not important. Oh, that's terrible. And as it's so hot outside, I really hope that the weather actually tones down next, or like, tomorrow. Because I will do a 12 hour live stream, pretty sure I said this already, but I hope my PC won't crash. And if it's too hot outside, then the chance of it crashing are higher because, you know, my PC will like overheat. It doesn't really work that well. I'm honestly kind of done with the winter at this point, but please don't make me crash my 12 hour stream. If it does happen, like, I'll try to like keep the stream online as long as I can, but if it does crash, then that would be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's why King Boo sucks though. I don't even think it's King Boo, I think it's just a regular Boo, that's how bad he is. He doesn't even have a, like, he doesn't even have a crown. I really do hope they actually announce a new character at E3, like a new Martinez Aces character. If not, then it's alright, we got a cool roster right now, it's always great to add more different characters to the game. But, I would be fine, but like, please add Pauline. <laughs> I think I would only call a game a Mario game if it involves Mario, that's uh, kind of my thing. I suppose games like Donkey Kong and maybe even Super Princess Peach would count as Mario games as well, but I just feel like, like Mario Tennis is a Mario game and Mario Kart Deluxe, Odyssey, just games that involves Mario, that's why it's called Mario game. All the other games from the Mario franchise which aren't Mario games, let's just call those Mushroom Kingdom games, okay? <laughs> It's a lot clearer. Then again though, I don't even think that Donkey Kong takes place in the Mushroom Kingdom, but that's besides the point. Let's just keep it clean and, you know, go with the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, this course is amazing. I love how the ball bounces on the little arrows. It like gives another uh, depth aspect to the gameplay, which is cool, definitely, on a game like this. Because I thought the only real thing this game had was the um, Super Mushroom, and I don't like that whatsoever. It's inconsistent, but this is quite funny. I actually enjoy playing this. Okay, can't lie here. Pretty funny. There it is. <laughs> it's, it's so overpowered. That's an amazing thing. You can just screw people over like that. I'll take it. So yeah, is Pauline gonna come tomorrow to tennis aces? I don't even know. But if it is, then I called it right here. Probably I didn't, but hey, that's besides the point though. So if you guys enjoyed, please make sure you leave a like down below and also subscribe for more. More tennis gameplay just like this video right here and I'll order more of your games like as well. And then I'll see you in the next episode. Make sure you join the stream tomorrow and enjoy your stay.